Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, well, it's the end of a computing era, if you want. There's a processor called the Zilog Z80 that is uh, about 50 years old, and uh, this microprocessor used in tons of devices is uh, being discontinued. So after 48 years on the market, um, Zilog is retiring the Z80. And it was one of the most used CPUs uh, ever. This was made for embedded devices and all sorts of different devices. But it found its way within uh, some 8-bit computers of the day. Um, it also was in some CPM machines. It was in many popular game consoles, uh, including um, portable devices like Game Boy and stuff like that. And over time, of course, different variants from the original big CPU to smaller, much more, uh, much, much better uh, form factor for modern devices. And uh, it, of course, had been the um, device, the CPU that's been transformed in different speeds. So the later version, the newest versions, run at the clock speed that's higher than the original. Um, and it's um, Federico Fagin, an Intel engineer that founded the Zilog, um, that founded Zilog, the company, and uh, in 1974. Uh, he worked on the Intel 4004, the first 4-bit CPU, and the Zilog Z80 was released in July 1976, actually. Uh, so uh, the uh, processor was definitely something uh, to, um, to be amazed at. And, uh, of course, with a host of other companies that make the, some competition, like uh, the Motorola 68000 and, of course, Intel's own CPUs. So it's kind of interesting to see that uh, the uh, ZED production will stop. They're taking the last orders, apparently. And, uh, well, there won't be any more of those on the market. Um, brand new, coming from the manufacturer. Uh, so you had uh, here, which is a classic CPU. Um, some of the other devices that used it. Um, so Nintendo's Game Boy. Uh, there was one which was Sega Master System. There was also used in the original version of Pac-Man, the uh, real arcade Pac-Man. So uh, some synthesizers like uh, the Roland Jupiter 8 uh, used the Z80 also. It was a common chip in, in many devices. You probably have owned one or even several devices at home that had that CPU in it without really knowing. So uh, the end of an era, Z80 uh, CPU. It's uh, kind of cool when you think about it. All that was possible and done in the millions and millions of these sold over time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.